Mm -hmm. And here she is on the ice. She was eighth in compulsory, seventh in the short program, three spots above Elaine in that short program. Mm -hmm. She beat Elaine last year at Sweet America. pretty dress that she's wearing, isn't it? Well, the colors. The colors are so soft. The pinks and the light blues that we're looking at now. And some lavender. That's the fun of ladies' figure skating. You get to express your personality in your dress as well. The athleticism. I always remember the green that they were talking in 1968. Green was a special color. Bonnie, I do not remember the dress of Dorothy Hamill, but I remember the haircut of Dorothy <laughs> Hamill. Well, that's good. Vicky is from San Jose, California, and she also trains with Carlo Fossi from Colorado Springs. Triple sow cow. Is that a mind destroyer when you do fall? Or is it something that you don't want to happen but expect to happen up, up and away? I think it's an individual thing. Some people it would destroy and others will go ahead. Again, it depends on what you're falling on. Falling on a jump like that simply negates the jump. It does not exist in the content of the program as far as the judges are concerned. Does not detract from, you do not get credit for. Right. But psychologically, I think, in a subjective sport such as this, oh, a nice triple toilet. Any fall has to detract in the mind of the judges to a certain extent. that would get the crowd involved every single time. It seems to help you along and maybe the judges along a little bit. It's interesting. Some of the coaches choose the music for their skaters, and then some of the skaters choose their own music. I'm not sure how Vicky arrived at her choices. Vicky use her knees a little bit more softly, bend and get into the ice so that she'll have more solid movements across the ice. But she's a beautiful girl, a lot of promise. One of the prides of a fine city in California. And pride, here's Philip.